Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Baseball is right around the corner. We've got about three weeks to go. And in the baseball card collecting hobby, we have another big release. This one from Panini. It is the funky, it is the fun, it is the flagship Panini Don Russ baseball set. But is this set going to be a must or is this one going to be a bust? Only one way to find out. It's time to do the One Cent Sports Cards Don Russ Baseball Set Guide and Review. So here it is, 2021 Don Russ Baseball. The set was delayed a week, but it's finally coming out this week. The checklist was just released yesterday, and I have finished my set guide and review for Don Russ Baseball. Now, in the review, what we are trying to get to is the exclusive one set sensational set ranking. What is that, you ask? Well, let's explain it. The one cent sensational set ranking is the most in-depth ranking system on the internet. What we do is we break the set down into 10 different categories. Each category is worth one to 10 points. So you one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all of those points and we give the set a one to five star rating, which is what you see over there on the left. Obviously a one star set, one you probably wanna pass on, a five star set, one that you wanna sit in line early for over at the Walmart. <laughs> so a few new things about the one cent, uh, sensational set ranking and our set guides for 2021. First of all, we have revised the scoring structure just a little bit. It's a little bit easier to get a five star. Last year it was 85 to 100. This year we dropped it down to 81. We also will be taking a scoring comparison to the 2020 set. So we will compare this to last year's set to see if the set has improved, if it has fallen back a little bit. And then we've revised a little bit of the categories. We've put relics into the insert category rather than separating them out. And we've streamlined a little bit of the content. So one more thing before we dive into the set review. First of all, be sure to hit the thumbs up on this button. We do these reviews all the time. This is, like I said, the most in-depth set review that you're going to find on the internet. Best thing you could do to support the channel and to show that you like these set reviews is hit that thumbs up. Then be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see all of the set reviews that are going to come out for the 2021 baseball card season. And to be the first to see them, be sure to hit the notification bell. So. What are the things we're going to cover off on on the set guide and review? Well, first of all, we'll start at the top. We'll do some set highlights. Then we'll dig down a little bit, tell you the different ways that you can buy into Don Russ this year. I'm going to show you the key cards, the key rookies, all sorts of the inserts and stuff. We'll cover off on what all the parallels are, what the inserts are, the relics, the autos. And then I'll even tell you what teams you should be targeting in team breaks. As you're getting into breaks over this over the course of the next few weeks, weeks definitely something that you're going to want to watch there then i'm going to get to my opinion section i'm going to tell you what i think the set positives are i'll tell you what i think the negatives are and that's what's going to bring us to our one cent sensational set ranking and then we'll finish it all up with all of our rankings today of every set that has come out in the 2021 card season the young season that it is so let's dive in first of all set highlights First thing you need to know, this is the long-standing flagship set of the Don Russ brand. This year's set, going to have 264 cards. That is the base set checklist. Card number 263 and 264 are going to be short prints. We'll cover off on what those are in a minute. Don Russ is in its 31st year of production. It's been off and on since 1981, a staple of the hobby. And this year's set is going to have 18 color a base set checklist parallel rainbow. And many of those cards you're going to find in different uh, buying formats, much like it's been for the last few years. But if you're buying a mega box, there's going to be pink, stuff like that. Um, for every hobby box, you are going to be guaranteed to get two autographs and one relic that is actually down from three autographs that you got in 2019. But 
This year, there are 32 rated rookie cards compared to 30 that you found in the 2020 Donruss set. And back once again, there's 10 rated prospect insert cards, so you can't find inserts in this set. And there's also a 1987 Materials A Relic set that's going to have 97 different cards. It features all sorts of retired Hall of Famers, current stars, prospects all over the board. So you can get um, some relics out of here. And the Whammy insert, the very popular insert from last year, returns as a case hit in 2021. And added this year is an ultra rare insert called Mysterious. Finally, the San Diego chicken, which has been a long-standing tradition with the Don Russ brand, returns this year, and you can even get an auto. So here's the different buying formats. First, we'll cover off on hobby. One simple buying format. You've got a hobby box. It's going to have 24 packs in the box, eight cards per pack, which is going to give you 192 total cards. The current price on these is running at about 150, so that gives you a cost per card of 78 cents. Like I said earlier, guarantees you two autos, guarantees you one relic. Also included are going to be 24 hollow blue parallels, which are exclusive to the hobby format. So you're going to get one of those in a pack. You are guaranteed to also get four Independence Day parallels and one Liberty parallel. Now off to retail. Lots of different retail options. The first one is going to be the biggest one. It's the Mega Box. You get 14 packs in that. You're going to get eight cards per pack, so a total of 112 total cards. And the cost for, for that is going to be around $40. So your cost per card, $0.36. Cents, and you're guaranteed to get one auto and 14 hollow pink and pink firework parallels. Then you can go down to the Blaster Box. That's going to have 11 packs, eight cards per pack. So 88 total cards. Cost you about 21 bucks. Cost per card on that, 24 cents. Guaranteed to get you 11 hollow purple parallels and five rapture parallels. Then you're going to go down to the hanger box, which is going to have 50 cards. 50, uh, 50 cards in a box, so 50 total cards. Cost around $11. That's retail. So your cost per card, a very small 22 cents per card. Guaranteed to get two hollow orange parallels and two diamond parallels. And we'll also have fat packs this year. 30 cards in the fat pack, 30 total cards, $7 for the fat pack and the cost per card on that, just 23 cents. And you're guaranteed to get one vector parallel and three hollow red parallels. And finally, you can get gravity packs. There's going to be five cards in a pack, five total cards. Cost you around two bucks. You find those over at like the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. Cost per card, 40 cents, but you are guaranteed to get one yellow parallel and just to make a note you there are additional formats and parallels that are likely going to be available at different retail outlets this is available all over in retail like most panini products but good luck finding them so what are the key cards well first of all we'll cover off on the rookies Lots of rookies, like I said, 32, all going to have that rated rookie parallel or the rated rookie logo. And the uh, big ones are going to be Kristen Pache. Um, that's card number 31. You've got Joe Adele from the Angels. Alec Bohm is in the set. Joey Bart from the Giants is in the set. And then Cabrian Hayes of the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was not available in top series one, but will be available here. Then we also have another one like that. That's going to be Jazz Chisholm. And Jazz Chisholm also was not available in Tops, but is available in Donruss. You've got Ryan Mountcastle from the Orioles. And Jake Cronenworth is also available, who was not available in Tops Series 1. So a very nice um, rounded out uh, rookie, rookie checklist for Don Russ this year. But we also have the parallels, the autos, inserts, and relics. So like I said, we've got 32 rated rookie cards, but there's also going to be an insert set, which is called Rated Prospects. That's going to have 10 cards in it, and they're all highly rated prospects. So Wander's in there. Um, some of the parallels that I think people will really go, uh, go after in Don Russ is going to be the Artist Proof, those are all numbered to 10 and press proofs numbered to five. And then, of course, you have the whammy insert, which you see over there on the right. That is the case hit for Don Russ this year. But don't forget, there's also an addition of the mysterious insert. That is an ultra rare insert. So if you hit one of those, it's a great, great hit. And like I said, the San Diego chicken inserts and autos are available this year. And we have a new insert set called Unleashed. We'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. So stay tuned. And 
as mentioned earlier, we've got the retro 1987 materials relics. Um, so we have relics in the set. And something I'm really excited about is they have the recollection collection buyback auto. So th those are going to be buybacks of old cards and they're signed and then they are stamped as a recollection buyback. So a very, very cool hit there. And there are five different auto sets that are available in the Don Russ product for 2021. Now to cover off on all the different parallels, there is a lot of them. So this is the base parallels, not the insert parallels, but for the base parallels, um, you're going to have the base set image variations and name variations, which those have been around for a few years now. Um, and then we again returning are the career stat lines. That's going to have varied print runs um, and the season stat lines. And those are parallels that are numbered, but they're numbered to like, for example, if a player hit 40 home runs and that's the stat that it's saying for the season, the card will be numbered to 40. So if it's a 200 hits, the card's numbered to 200. So that's kind of what the career and the season stat line um stands for and then you've got the blue hollow the which is exclusive to the hobby box you've got the independence day the liberty the orange hollow which is exclusive to hanger the pink hollow exclusive to megas then you've got the purple hollow which is in fat packs the yellow which is in gravity and then we get to our numbered parallels you've got the red which is numbered to 2021 the 100 which is obviously numbered to 100 the presidential collection numbered to 50 and then very cool um maybe a little too soon but we have the mask emoji which ironically is number 219 i think is an ode to covid19 and then like i said we have the artist proof to 10 the press proof to 5 and then you've got the number 1 which is the one of one hits and of course you have printing plates which are also one of ones there's four of each printing plate obviously for the four colors it takes to print a card now on to the inserts Lots of inserts, lots of new stuff for uh, 2021. But returning this year is the Dominators insert. That's going to have 13 cards and a very common parallel breakdown that you will find throughout the Don Russ insert sets. You've got Diamond, Pink Firework, Rapture, Vector, and then you've got Silvers numbered to 349, Blues to 249, Reds to 149, Golds to 99, Greens to 25, and Black one of ones. Then you have the Domingo Ayala card, which is another staple. Um, and if you want to go research Domingo Ayala and see why Don Russ puts him in there, kind of an interesting story. But that is card number 264. That is a high number short print card, kind of an insert. And Elite Series is also going to return for 2021. That's got 13 cards with the same parallel breakdown that we discussed with Dominators. Highlights also returns. That's going to have 12 cards with the same parallel breakdown. And then more inserts to come. We've got a new one for 2021. It is the live stream insert. There is going to be six cards in that subset. And they'll all be numbered to at least $9.99. And then you'll find the parallels, which is going to be your diamond, pink firework, rapture, vector, and kind of that same breakdown with the numbered parallels that you see on screen. Then, like I said, we have the mysterious insert, which if you hit one of those, really long odds on it. But if you hit one, very, very nice hits. And those, there's only eight cards in that set, and they are ultra rare. Then you have the Rated Prospects, which is one of my favorite inserts in the Don Russ uh, baseball set. Going to have 10 cards. They're all going to be numbered to $9.99 or lower. And you have the Diamond, the Pink Firework, Rapture, Vector, Silver uh, parallel breakdown that is in most of the inserts. And of course, the famous San Diego Chicken returns again in 2021 that's going to have one card that is card number 263 just like the domingo ayala card it is a short print now for the inserts more more inserts we also have the rookies which is an insert of some of the rookies that are in 2021 so we've got eight cards there each numbered to 9.99 with the same parallel breakdown we have trending which is a new one for 2021 12 cards each numbered to 9.99 or less and then unleashed which you see over there on the right 26 cards in that set each number to 999 as well with the same parallel breakdown and of course we have the whammy which is 10 cards and that is going to be the case hit we also have relics 
And for the relics, we have a Domingo Ayala relic card. So you can get a relic of Domingo Ayala. You can also get the retro 1987 materials. This is what you're going to find. The vast majority of the relics being 97 cards in that. Um, there is a small parallel breakdown on those of red, gold, and black. And then you also have the famous San Diego chicken material card. So you can get some feathers on a card. Be a very cool card to hit. Very fun card. And they do hold value. And now on to the important stuff. We have the autographs. So for autographs, plenty of autographs that you can get in Don Rust this year. We'll start out with the classics autographs. That's going to have 10 cards with a blue, gold, or black parallel rainbow. Then you have classified, which was around last year, comes back for 2021. 10 cards in that set as well. Same parallel breakdown. Um, and then we have the recollection collection cards, and those are the buybacks. So there's 23 cards, but so 23 different cards you can get. However, all of them are going to be number 21 or less. So you can so these aren't going to be impossible to hit. They're not true one of ones. Some of them are. However, some of them are numbered as high as 21. But very cool buybacks. They will be autographed by the recipient. There's a lot of Ricky Henderson cards in there. A lot of a lot of retired greats that you will find in that set. A very very cool autograph set that Don Russ is doing for 2021. Then you have the retro 1987 signatures. So those will all be on the 1987 design. You can see what that looks like over there on the right. And keep in mind, uh, we have a larger parallel rainbow for the retro 1987. I think you're going to find a lot of these in the packs. And the other thing to know about these is the retro 87s, uh, they have current stars, they have rookies, they have prospects, they have retired stars, so it is all over the board. Tons of different autos and tons of different types of players that you can pull in those autos. But there's more than that. There's the short and sweet signatures. Those are going to be kind of uh, difficult to hit, I believe, but there is only 10 cards with the parallel breakdown of blue, gold, and black. Then we have Signature Series, which you see over there on the right with Mr. Joe Adele. That'd be a great card to hit. Th these should be pretty common pulls and hobby boxes and whatnot, but you'll find 50 cards in that autograph subset. And, of course, the famous San Diego Chicken 1 card. Ain't going to be any parallels on that one, guys. So, with all that being said, those are all the different things that you can pull out of Don Russ this year. So as we buy into breaks, the question then becomes, well, who do I want to pull in a break? Now, it's very interesting for Don Russ because some of the teams that you maybe were even targeting in top series one are not teams that you would want to target in Don Russ because the checklists are actually pretty different from each other. However, some things always remain the same. And I believe that the best team that you can pull in a break is still going to be the New York Yankees. They've got 13 base cards, which is plenty of base cards. They've got 12 different autos, 18 different inserts, seven relics, two rookie cards. Not, not, not the biggest rookies, but still two rookie cards. So can't go wrong with the Yankees. Really can't go wrong with the Yankees almost in any baseball set. However, maybe a little bit surprising... The team with the most autos is going to be the Miami Marlins. Now, they've got eight base cards, but they are tied with the Yankees for the most autos. With 12 autos, they only have four inserts, but they do have two rookie cards. And one of them, obviously, is going to be Sixto Sanchez. So it's a very nice team. Uh, lots of different lots of different autos that you can pull. The Marlins are surprisingly a very nice team to pull in Don Russ 2021. A solid choice if you're buying into uh, breaks is going to be the Atlanta Braves. That's got 11 base cards, 9 different autos, 10 different inserts, and of course, 2 different rookie cards. Kristen Pache, Ian Anderson, those are the ones that you're going to be chasing for the Atlanta Braves. Um, so a very, very solid, if you get it in a random team break, congratulations. If you're buying it um, on eBay and buying a pick your team, probably going to be one of the more expensive ones that you can get. However, probably worth the price. But in my opinion, the team that's going to have the most value is my team, the Los Angeles Angels. They've got 10 different base cards, 
six different autos and the auto checklist is pretty strong however there are no mike trout autos because mike trout does not sign for don russ there's eight inserts there's not 31 rookie cards i believe there's only one that was a typo that'd be awesome if there was 31 rookie cards uh but the auto checklist can, uh includes joe adele shohei otani some other very nice angels players um, so I believe that with the power of Joe Adele and his rookie card, along with Otani, who I think is going to have a resurgence in 2021, I think the value is going to be with the Angels. And the Angels will probably be one of the more expensive teams that you would buy into on a pick your team. Now for a couple sleepers. My first one, the Detroit Tigers. Now the Tigers don't have a lot of cards in this set. So why would they be a sleeper? Well, first of all, they've only got four base but there are eight different autos that you can pull. So they've got quite a, quite a bit of autos compared to some teams, just two inserts and only one relic. But there is a Spencer Torkelson auto available. And when you look at the auto checklist, there are plenty of other uh, rookies, uh, Tyreek Skubal, and a lot of their prospects. Uh, Casey Mize is also signed. So it's a very, very nice uh, It's a very nice team. Not a lot of cards. I think the price on the Tigers is going to be a little bit low. Uh, you might be able to trade for the Tigers in a random team break because people are going to look and see a small checklist for the team. And it is really, uh, it's packed better than a lot of other teams that I think are going to be going for a little bit more money so don't sleep on the tigers and my other sleeper is going to be the san francisco giants they've got eight base cards and nine autos and three inserts but the thing about the giants is their auto checklist has a couple hall of famers on it it's a very solid checklist um i'm not big on the auto checklist for don russ this year Mainly because I don't believe that there's a lot of current stars that have signed um, and there just seems to be a lot of fluff. But the San Francisco Giants, not one of those teams. And I do not think that this would be an expensive team to buy into, but they've got Juan Marshall in there. Uh, there's plenty of sweet cards that you can pull. And even if you don't pull one of the autos, I believe that there's enough base and parallel that you would actually get a pretty decent value, even if you don't end up getting an auto. So don't sleep on the Giants, but those are going to be my teams. There's a couple other good teams out there. Um, but the checklist for the autos, the one thing to note, be very careful about who you're buying into because you might find like, for example, with the Padres, yes, Jake Cronenworth has an auto, but you would also believe that maybe Fernando Tatis would. You would also believe on the Mariners that you might have a Ken Griffey Jr. auto, especially in a Donruss product, but you are not going to find that this year. So there's a couple uh, players that you might find that are missing just because you're uh, in 2021. And just because you might expect an auto to be on that team, you may want to check that checklist first. So what are the set positives for 2021 Donruss baseball? Well, it's a clean card design with bold new inserts, for 2021 you've got unleashed you've got mysterious you've got the now trending ones um so very cool inserts and the card design i actually like the card design more than i think i like tops series uh, the tops flagship design this year uh the solid rookie card lineup so you've got 32 different rookies um and obviously they've all got the iconic rated rookie logo and I really like that it's a low cost per auto for Don Russ. You've got the mega box format, which is only going to be 40 bucks. You're guaranteed to get an auto out of there. And in a hobby box, the cost per auto is only 75 bucks because you've got two autos in every hobby box. Much better than Top Series 1, which you are only guaranteed to get an auto in those jumbo boxes, which are going for around $270 right now. So if you're looking for cheaper autos, this is a great set to really look into. And that brings me to my next point, which is it's an affordable set. It's got a nice array of players that represent the 2021 baseball card season. So you're going to find all of your big stars. Yes, the um, yes, you've got Fernando Tatis. The, the team checklist actually round out very well for a representation of current players and some prospects that are part of the 2021 baseball card season. And of course, because it's a Panini set, there's so many parallels, you'll never remember what all of them are. So you've got tons of parallels, which people love. So love that. And finally, I like that they offer prospects and even prospect autos in this set. I'm 
a big believer that just because it's a flagship set, I like that they dabble in the prospects. I like that they dabble in the uh, Hall of Fame ones. But Don Russ really does pay attention to the prospects. So very, very nice positives for Don Russ in 2021. But there's also negatives to every set. So let's cover off on those two. We'll get it out of the way early. Obviously, Don Russ being a Panini brand, they do not have the rights to use MLB logos. They only have the rights to use player names. So if you like logos, this is not the set for you. There are plenty of you people out there that believe you have to have the logo. And if you are one of those people, obviously you're going to be steering clear of Don Russ. Um, but then uh, diving a little deeper, the resale value, because there are no logos, is not as strong as the Topps counterpart. So if you pull a rookie card of, let's say, Joe Adele, and let's say it's a $10 card, um, it's not going to be a $10 card in Don Russ. It will be, it will be a little bit less. Um, then, because it is Panini and they're doing hobby and they're doing retail on this, Panini tends to have high production runs. I believe that this set is going to be even higher than it was in 2020. So a high production run does hurt value even more. And then something that they are doing more of this year, which surprises me, is there's more sticker autos that are featured throughout this set. Last year, they had a lot of on-card autos, and this year, we're back to the sticker autos. I believe some of that probably has to do with the pandemic, um, and we'll see if that sticks around. But the fact that there's more sticker autos than there are on-card are autos from 2020, I believe, is a downgrade from the 2020 set. Then... The auto checklist, and this is maybe my biggest knock. When you look at the auto checklist, it is not very strong on current stars and legend, which Don Russ has always kind of been known for. Yes, you can get all of the big rookie autos, and I know a lot of people look for those. However, in Don Russ, it's, it's always been possible to pull some of the current stars. It surprises me how little of the current stars are actually on the auto checklist. So be sure to check the auto checklist out in detail before you're buying into breaks and whatnot. Make sure that the team that you're buying actually has some of the autos that you might be looking for. And then another thing I've noticed about Don Russ, and this is and, and, and this has been typical of the product for years, but there are a lot of high numbered parallel cards, which can be a little bit deceiving when you open packs. The neat thing is, is you hit like a numbered card or a parallel card in almost every pack. However, some of these parallels, you know, they're numbered to 999. How much value does that hold over some of like a, a base card not really sure obviously the number holds a little bit of value but it's a little bit deceiving yes it's fun to open but just because it's number doesn't mean it's necessarily totally valuable so a little bit deceiving there which i've never really appreciated too much about don russ but i get why they do it it makes for a fun fantastic rip when you're ripping packs of this stuff so that brings us to our sensational set ranking so how does Don Russ 2021 lineup for this card collecting season. First, remember, we're rating this on a one to five star scale by adding up points. So here is how I have rated Don Russ baseball for 2021. First of all, we'll cover off on the appeal of the set. I believe that Don Russ being that it's been around for 31 years um, and with how popular the hobby is and the nostalgic kind of retro feel that it has, I believe that there are a lot of people that like Don Russ. The logo stuff really kind of hurts it, so you can't give it a really high score. But as Don Russ goes, it has its place in the hobby. Um, it definitely appeals to a lot of budget collectors, a lot of new collectors. So I go ahead and give it a seven. The base set checklist, it is a solid checklist of, of rookies. It is a solid checklist of today's stars. And, it, and, if you, it, and if you look at it as a whole, it's a fantastic set, very streamlined at only 264 cards. I like that. I'll give it a seven. When I look at the inserts and the relics, um, the relics, I believe, are not all that inspired. But the 1987 design, there's... 1987 wasn't my favorite design to begin with, and I get that they go for a retro feel there, but I do believe that the inserts are actually very nice. They've added the Mysterious. They've added that very cool Unleashed. They brought back Whammy. The inserts really, really carry um, this category, so I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8. 
the parallels and variations. There are variations in the set um, and obviously a ton of different parallels, but a lot of them are high numbered um, and a lot of them are available in a bunch of different retail formats, but some of them definitely hold value and definitely sharp looking cards. So I go ahead and give it a seven. The auto checklist, I cannot go higher than five on this. You can get all of the big rookies, which I think is a big plus, but I think there's a lot of missing names. And to be honest, uh, I, I think there's a lot of filler. Um, and so I do think that you're going to find some autos in here that maybe don't hold a ton of value and to find some of those more valuable autos with the production run, maybe going to be a little bit more difficult than it was in 2020, but there are some definite gems in there. So I don't want to knock it too much, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a five pack odds in production. It is retail. It is hobby. It is Panini. They're going to be high on this production run. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a three. The card quality for Donruss, it is a thinner card stock. Not great, um, but um, it's not bad either. But a standard card with Donruss, sometimes you do run into some, some printing issues and whatnot. Um, it was very common in 2020 with Panini products to run into some printing issues. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. Historical value. Some Donruss cards, when you go back in time, definitely worth some money. So there is some value there. But like I said, because of the logos right now, it does not hold a, a lot of value compared to the top's counterpart. But if you can find the right card, if you can find the right parallel, definitely value there. But I'm only going to give it a three. For the artistic value, I'm going to go up and give it a seven. I believe that Panini definitely pushes the envelope with the artistic and actually keeps tops honest. Um, so the artistic value, very nice on this. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Some of those inserts, some of those uh, in the card design itself, I, I believe are actually better than most of the top stuff that we've seen so far this year. And for a cost value, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. You got a low cost per auto. You get relics. You get a lot of guaranteed hits. You get a lot of guaranteed parallels, no matter what buying format that you are looking in. Um, so from a cost value standpoint, I go ahead and give it a seven. The only reason it doesn't go higher is because when we look at long-term value, immediate flipping resale value, uh, you got to bring it back just a little bit because the reason they're lower is they actually don't, they actually don't hold as much value as some of the other cards from top. So with all that being said, we're going to add up all of these and Don Russ ends up getting a final rating of 58.5 so as we look at our chart to the left that is a very high three star almost four star but not quite um almost four star set but it is a high three star set which is exactly what i would expect from from don russ um if they had the logos i think you would get into that four star territory i all i do love the design this year I love the fact that you can get the the parallels. I love the recollection buybacks. Those will hold a ton of value. They've done a lot of innovative things with the inserts. Um, could probably use a little bit of a revamp on the relic line. But overall, a very solid set. If you like Don Russ, if you like the artistic design, um, if you like the fact that you can get some lower cost per auto, there's going to be some very neat cards in there. Obviously, a ton of parallels and whatnot. So very much in line with what I would expect from a Don Russ um, product. However, when we compare it to last year, last year, the set score was 63. And there's an interesting story there because when I first rated it, I actually rated it very low, but as I opened up more of the product, I adjusted the ranking mid-season. I had it as low as 51, but after opening up Don Russ and seeing box after box of it, you actually find that it was a very good set last year. So it ended up being a 63 last year, and it was a low-end four-star set. So I think this year, the rating is probably a little bit more accurate to begin with, but you never know with Don Russ, it could surprise us again. But as I look at that auto checklist, I'm a little worried about some of the names that are on that and some of the filler that are in it. So I bring it down a little bit from 2020, but not too much. And overall, if you are okay with the no logos, if you eat, if you like a little bit more of a retro, fun, artistic style of card with some neat photography um, and some neat kind of 
pushing the envelope of what a baseball card can be. I think this is definitely a set that you should look into. Uh, do I think it's a bust? Absolutely not. Do I think it's a must? Well, that depends on your personal opinion of what you like in cards. If you are a budget-minded collector, this one is definitely a must. It's one of the best values that you're going to find in the 2021 card season. If you're a high-end collector that is into flipping and reselling and grading and all of that, probably some better sets that you, you would want to look into. So how does Don Russ ranked with all the other sets in the young baseball card season? Well, all of the three sets that have come out so far, it ranks two out of three. I believe Top Series 1 is a superior product at this point. It rated a 70.5. You can go back and view that rating that we did about a month ago before it came out. Um, but with Donruss, I think you've got a solid middle-of-the-road set. Um, I do believe it's better than Topps Archive Signature. Um, that is just an odd set. It always has been to me, and I don't get what the appeal there is outside of buying an autograph and gambling. Um, but overall, I, I think as it progresses and we see more sets come out, I do not believe that Don Russ will stay in the top 10, but could it stay in the top 20? Most definitely. Um, and with Topps, obviously, because of the logos, because of value and a little bit more, the set che checklist uh, and the auto checklist in tops just tend to is, I think, better for the two flagship products that have come out early in the season. So a strong effort from Don Russ, nonetheless. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you enjoyed this review, definitely, definitely hit that like button. That is the best thing you can do for me for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to subscribe so that way you can get all of the 2021 set reviews and hit the notification so you can be the first one to see him. If you have questions about Don Russ, would love to uh, get your comments and questions below. I try to respond to almost everyone's comments um, that puts them on there, at least the ones that are worth responding to. Um, and with that, guys, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoy ripping uh, Don Russ 21. I, get, I wish you guys good luck on all of your personal pack rips of Don Russ. And until next time, be sure you're being good to your family, being good to your friends, being good to your neighbors. And I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon. Take care.